Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to high school girl goes off on race based college admission rates. Guys, let's get straight into this. I wanted to ask uh, what you thought of affirmative action because I am Psalm 1. I'm a Pacific Islander. I fall under that, you know, tree. And I am a senior in high school and I plan on attending college. Um, many of my teachers have told me, um, especially my counselors, like I've been nervous about getting into colleges. Uh, many have told me, um, oh, like you're, you're underrepresented. Uh, you're uh, a person of color, like you're guaranteed a spot in the college of your dreams. And I've been told that by many of my teachers. And I wanted to ask you what you thought about it because I refuse to believe that I'm going to be accepted into the college of my dreams due to the color of my skin or the underrepresentation of my people. And more on, I have great grades, I'm smart, I'm intelligent, and I plan on. <laughs> Affirmative action always puts one person above another based on characteristics that I don't think are important. And you have just beautifully isolated what is so deeply morally wrong about affirmative action, which is you've studied really hard, I imagine, right? You've applied yourself, yes. and your teachers are looking at you as a skin color. They're not looking at you as someone with good character, good test grades, someone that shows up and does all the extra homework. They're obsessed with your skin color. And we have a word for that. It's called being a racist and a bigot. <laughs> I, I hate to cut to that too fast. But if there was ever a time to use that term, it's that. And let me tell you the tragedy that you're going to have to navigate. Let me, let me, let's, let's pretend your dream school is Stanford. Okay? Let's just pretend. Um, it's got problems, but, you know, it's got some good departments. Okay? And you go to Stanford. Do you know the problem is? People are going to think you got there just because of your skin color. It creates more racism. They're not, they're not going to assume that you had good grades that you could have gotten in on your own merits, which based on how articulate you asked the question, you probably could. And then all of a sudden you're going to have this hanging over your head of people that might say, is she there because of affirmative action? Is they, she there because of these policies? We want merit. We want a society based on how hard somebody works, how hard they apply themselves, the content of their character, not just what they look like. And so I'm glad to see the Supreme Court that came in and see, say that parts of affirmative action are unconstitutional, and I think we need more of it. And I think that you're a great example of that because you want to be judged by your work, not just the underrepresentation of your people. God bless you. Guys, to be honest, what he said was true. And I believe that if we keep on like getting turned, like if we keep on getting to based on the skin color, like it's trash. Like I feel based on your hard work. And I hate it when people say because your father is rich, that's why you go this far. Like I believe that people who are rich, I I really know this is not part of the subject, but like people who are rich actually work for the money and they're putting a lot of effort. And I believe she putting a lot of effort to actually want to go to college with her good grades. And for you to subject her blood because of her skin color actually diminishes. Like imagine I work very hard to get this and you're saying I got this because my mom is rich, or I got this because I look like this. It's, it's actually true with all the hard work, sleepless nights away, and it's really, really heartbreaking. Okay, so what you think about this? Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.